brave young girl. All right, if you want to feel like fall or winter, take a good look at this picture. It just makes me all warm and cozy just looking at it, right? Play. Snow blanketing parts of the Southwest. This is a live look at Pikes Peak, Colorado, two hours south of Denver. Our director said it looks like a postcard, which it really does. This is beautiful. The temperature around those mountains, eight degrees. Yeah, kind of makes you wish you were there. Here is what it looks like here. It is beautiful, but some of us kind of Ugh. cannot wait to have fall <laughs> yeah. when you have conditions. Yeah. What in the 70s, nearly 80s? Yeah, sunny skies across our region, but we are in for some changes this weekend. Mm -hmm. Alongside First Alert meteorologist Cutter Martin. Yeah, eight degrees snow. It did a little miserable, mm -hmm. but gorgeous. Looked like Polar Express and I it's know. in the 80s out here. Even yeah. up our mountain communities, kind of some gross November stuff as the averages go here across the North Georgia mountains. Uh, two features that we're watching and kind of a battle of the seasons. Category two, nearly category three, Hurricane Rafael in the Gulf of Mexico. Also a cold front. There is the ongoing snowstorm, even into Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, portions of those states seeing a little bit of snow. No winter weather in our forecast, but we'll see some subtle changes on the way, which will then lead to some bigger changes. We'll lay it out for you in the first alert seven day forecast in just a moment. Do want to let you know Rafael forecast to rapidly weaken and kind of tuck itself back into to the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. This is not a threat to our coastline, more the Gulf Coast, but if you do have travel plans, maybe to the beaches, you do want to escape to some of the warmer conditions, uh, could be some rip current risk, some higher uh, surf all across the Gulf of Mexico. Back home, it's a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures incredibly warm, 77, 69% humidity. So not only warm, but I would consider it kind of muggy by November standards outside this afternoon. That'll be the case through this evening. If you're headed out to Irish Fest Atlanta at Roswell Cultural Arts Center, Temperatures in the 70s for the majority of it, upper 60s and muggy by 9 p.m. as the concerts are wrapping up. That is an event that will run through the weekend. Tomorrow we're going to wake up to mild temperatures again. 64 in Atlanta, your average low is 46. 62 Carrollton, even our mountain communities waking up to upper 50s to near 60 degree morning low temperatures. That's closer to where it should be in the afternoon this time of year. Coffee forecast tomorrow, we're waking up to some clouds. Could be a little bit of rain around tomorrow morning. Not the prettiest of Saturdays, much like the past few days before today. We had a lot of clouds, much the same tomorrow. It's mild, upper 60s, lower 70s. And, you know, at, at times an isolated chance of rain. I think the kind of day where there are a lot of clouds, but rain is really just drizzly and it's kind of patchy. Not, not a planned canceler, just not a pretty day. Upper 60s, a little cooler over in Athens, 66 in Helen, 71 Atlanta, 74 LaGrange. So we will start to have some cooler weather filter in tomorrow, but more noticeably cooler on our Sunday, a 40% chance of rain. Temperature stuck in the low to mid 60s. That's in Atlanta, even cooler on the northeast side of the metro. How about our forecast? Seven o'clock in the morning, we have lots of clouds and there will be some drizzle around Sunday morning, especially north and east of the I-75 corridor. 11 a.m. brunch time after church plans on your Sunday. Again, not the prettiest of days. We can keep that rain chance going into our Veterans Day Monday. Tuesday, a nice day, a little bit warmer, 72, and then we're going to see a front sneak in. Finally, Tracy bringing some much cooler weather back to the forecast late next week. All right. Look forward to